Hello YouTube, um, welcome back to a, another Chick Paints video featuring the chick that paints, me. Um, so today I have a unboxing or an unblistering of the brand new Ultramarines Legion Contempt of Dreadnought which we weren't really uh, expecting to get. But kind of weirdly, um, I was talking to a friend, I was having a game against and when I got home this was announced um, so I am very happy to have this as most people will be aware I am uh, an Ultramarines player and I have been saying for ages that we need to have our own dedicated Contempt or Dreadnought and now we do so this is a very nice model I think it was £38 minus the weapons which are £11 for each one um, this is a very 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 nice model um, I love it and I cannot wait to paint it because uh, I love dreadnoughts and I love contempt of dreadnoughts so yay so that covers pretty much everything that I like about them so I have already um, opened this hence why I'm holding it so it doesn't spill out um, I was going to um, you know cut it open on camera but I don't want knives really to feature in any of my videos so I have got it here so we'll have a quick look to start with you get the standard 60mm um, dreadnought base um, that's I'm just going to kind of spill it all out and then we can have a look then quite handily the list of parts and then um, you know handy guide to assembling these they're very easy I've built so many um, right, let's start with the meat and potatoes, the uh, the main body of the Dreadnought. It's very nice. I love the stylized eagle and the Ultramarines sigil right there. It's a very nice um, model. The sculpt on this is perfect. Um, you know, I bought this on the day it was released, so I would expect that the first models to come out of the mould would be of very good quality um, so yes this looks good it looks nice I can't wait to paint it I mean it is kind of like a standard contender dreadnought but just with a very nice um, front and then above where the head would be uh, I, you know, I really like the extra attention to uh, detail um, it has the shoulders, um, hopefully this you can see it has the 13th legion there and then the trim going around the um, the shoulders, I really like that as well, I love you know it's perfect paint gold do the lettering um, rare, uh, white or gold um, just stumbling over my words they do look, uh, I don't know, there's a few things here that are slightly different to um, say the relic contemptor that I recently painted um, so the waist you can't see because it's hidden but it's got a very nice um, sculpted waist I will find the box again so you can see so it's oh, it's not a very good way to show it but it's this part here it's really nice and I like the fact that the actual um, hip section is blank for a very good reason and that very good reason is because of this um, I don't remember what that's called so uh, if anyone can pop that in the comments I'd appreciate it so we see this very often on ultramarine models because you know they are based around the Romans so and this is the sort of thing you'd see on centurions um, I like the fact that this is an optional thing so if you don't like it you don't have to take it so you could just paint it like that. I'm kind of, I think I will put that on it because um, it's, you know, it's nice and it suits uh, the model. Then you have the knees, um, which are kind of like shields. I'm not a fan. If there's one thing I would pick up on this model that I don't like, it's these. Um, I just don't. I kind of get it, but I don't like them. So I might either swap them for uh, other knee pads on other dreadnoughts I have. I think the, um, I shall grab it very quickly, I think the uh, these 
on the Relic Contemptor would suit this model very well. Um, but, you know, I'll paint them up and see. And then, again, you probably will not be able to see this very well, but the head. I love the head with the laurel wreaths around it. This is so nice. This is something I like about Contemptor Dreadnoughts, is that um, it's not just a, a, a plain um, play over the sarcophagus. You get an actual helmet and this one is very nice again grab the box art there we go it's very nice I think I might copy quite a lot of this on here um, when I have these for my 40k army which is primarily what I will use this for it's a relic from the Great Crusade and Heresy so I like to have something white on the model and having learnt from the past that white is a pain in the ass to do I kinda try and minim minimalize it so yeah, I might copy pretty much loads of that. Then we have the, um, yeah, so the top parts of the legs, again, nice trim, which can be gold. Um, I have noticed that the details on the sides here, on the, uh, the joints, are slightly different to other dreadnoughts. Um, I like that. Kind of helps um, set them apart from other contempt of dreadnoughts and then the um, the greaves you know the lower part of the leg this one is plain apart from the trim which is also nice and the inside I've recently painted a um, relic contemptor you might know I put it everywhere and it, it didn't have this part so um, yeah it's hard to picture that but it connects um, it's just a little added uh, detail that I like and then the other one does have the um, Ultramarine logo uh, logo or iconography is the right word um, fantastic the uh, power pack on the back is yep what you expect it to be it is the same and the feet are obviously you get two of each so um, one is well, with a foot flat one is with a foot kind of in a in a walking position they are a tiny tiny bit different they're different so this is one I've painted recently and the difference is on the back here this is different to that I had first thought when I saw these oh they're just normal feet um, I've got a lot of them but no they are slightly different and slightly bigger I like that you know again it's something that can set the model um, apart from others. Um, let's talk about the actual mold. So these are really good. There is some slight mold slippage here but it's going to be parts that will be covered um, and it's quite easy. It's very shallow so that will be very easy to fix. You can either um, file it down flat or you can fill it in. It's um, up to you. I'm probably going to just file it down. Um, I have gone over this model quite, um, you know, intently with a microscope as such to make sure that it is um, very nicely made, and it is very nicely made, as one would expect from a brand new model. So that's this. This is what I wanted to do, just to show everybody. Um, I will be painting this very soon. Um, so look out for that. There will be links in the description for my uh, social media. So her Instagram, Twitter, um, Discord, and then there's a link to my Patreon. So if you would like to support the channel, um, there's a link there for that. Um, I have to just thank my uh, existing Patreon. So Tim's Hobby Corner and Plutonium OD. You guys really help. My um, Patreons really helped with me buying this model because I have been a bit um, lack of funds uh, and there's some things I want to do for my channel uh, the cameras I have like this camera you are using to see my face I'm using and this one here are okay but I don't think they are going to cut the mustard for painting tutorials which I will be doing so I mentioned that white is a bit of a pain I'm gonna do a video um, about how to do white very easy and it won't be using an airbrush. I need a DSLR camera with, you know, 1080p 
high frame rate. That's going to cost money, so I am working on getting one of those so I can make good content because a lot of people say to me they would rather see um, tutorials than anything else. And you know, I love to paint, and that's what people know me for. So, and it's chick paints. So, that's the plan, that's the future. So, this is kind of like a, a mini update, but that's the future for um, this channel. I just want to thank everybody who um, subscribed to me and follow me on everything and please do like and share the video um, subscribe hit the bell um, leave a comment if you have anything you would like to add to this or um, if you can tell me what that thing is called because I don't remember and um, suggestions for videos uh, that would be more more better to be put in my uh, discord chat which is the 500 worlds um, there's also an exclusive Discord chat for my Patreons. That's where I will uh, don my headphones and we can chat over um, Discord video chat and I can do um, individual tailored painting tutorials if you are a Patreon. Right, so I think I have pretty much covered everything. This is nice. You will see me painting this very soon. Thank you for more following me and I shall see you guys in the next video.